So back on the first point, mm -hmm. um, why is duality a bad thing? Duality is not a bad thing. Uh, it's possible to to look at duality and see that it can be limiting. I think that duality taken uh, too far becomes challenging, difficult, and sometimes destructive because duality is based on the on the belief that some things are separate from other things. Well, this is a very important point in terms of oneness because we're already into a, a second video here with oneness. Uh, I'm going to keep these videos very, very short. But as you know, non-duality or oneness has become very important to me personally. It's also very trendy in the, in the current spiritual paradigms of what people call New Age and progressive spirituality again. Non-duality is often reflecting in the current paradigm the very ancient Hindu term Advaita. Advaita in Sanskrit means not this, not that. And what it really means is something beyond words. We can't say what it means. It's the fact that nothing is separate from anything else. And our belief in separation, which is basically duality, is the source of all our suffering and conflict. It doesn't mean that duality is automatically bad. We experience dualities in the sensory physical realm, the material world. And I feel it's very destructive, for example, to feel that there is something lesser or fallen about the material world, because if you really get non-duality, spiritual and material realities are one. There's no boundary, there's no separation. What I love about true oneness or non-duality is it embraces all duality and all diversity, all complexity in one. And so you have something that is fundamentally different from most other paradigms and belief systems because non-duality accepts all those diverse beliefs. It embraces and allows them. It's kind of like the saying that the sea rejects no rivers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. You're welcome. Thank you, Tom, for asking. But yeah, yeah, non-duality or oneness is one of my favorite things to be aware of because I think it's really the great mystery. Nobody can say what it is or isn't, but it kind of tells us some things about the nature of what's going on when we begin to absorb it or we even have a glimpse of it because it, I, I feel it is possible to have a glimpse of, of oneness or non-duality. There may even be some people that live there. I could name names, but I won't. Thank you, Bruce. You're welcome, Tom. Bye now. Bye now.